it's your girl Claire Moy and I am here finally with a crochet hairstyle that's for sure I'm using Marley twist and I'm doing individual twist to my hair I'm so excited that my hair is long enough don't worry I am being very careful with my edges okay very careful I'm not even taking none of this in this all is staying out okay but I'm doing it very light as you can see there is no pulling at all I'm doing it very very light this is actually my first time doing crochet on my hair y'all the hair that I will be using today is from a company called Toy Tress, Toyota Tress, Toyo Tress. I think it's Toyo Tress. That's the company that hit me up and asked me to review their hair. And so far, so really, really. I also want to show you guys how the hair came. The hair came packaged pretty cool. This is how it came packaged. Look at that. It came really smart, very smart packaging. And you want to open it. That's cool, right? So this is a fresh bundle. I was really going to do that whole loose um, crochet look, but I find that twisting it will be a lot more manageable. And I want to keep this in for a while. I think if I were to just leave this loose, it just won't last me a long time. Because this hair, it's soft, but it can definitely tangle. So, let's start with the first, with the first twist shot. It's really easy. So, first thing you want to do, if you are someone with um, struggling edges... You want to move your edges away. You know, we live in the day and age where we can have a lot of edges on our forehead and we won't look crazy, right? Because everybody's doing it. <laughs> so we're going to pull all this out. I am not trying in no shape or form to have um, any of my edges being pulled, okay? <laughs> and then we're going to go in and we're also not making super small twists. We're going to go in, make our part. Like so, like that. And then we're going to... Also, I already have these braids in. This is from a protective style. Um, I know it looks old, but it's really not that old. I just be like falling asleep with no scarf on. Well, I kind of wear a scarf, but then I don't. Sometimes it depends. So, um, yeah. I don't want to take everything out and do it. Because it'll just make too much hair. And I will have to like... But my hair is definitely not dirty. And it's already moisturized and everything. So I'm going to go in, create my part. We're going to now do a braid. <gasps> is that a gray hair? Chris! Nope. I got a gray hair! Hey! Come look! I still have more than you. Hey. So all you need is your handy dandy crochet tool. And you're going to take it. You're going to open the little clasp because it has a clasp. Baby, I'm recording. So you're going to open it because it has a clasp. Let me make sure old school YouTube right here. You know, it has a clasp. You're going to leave it open. And then you're going to go down. Just like so. Oh God, my wheels got on my crochet, damn it. Cause it's a very long, <laughs> you know, I like long hair. You're gonna take your crochet hair. Make sure it's nice and tight around your fingers. Otherwise, it's quite difficult to get it in the clasp. You're gonna go like that. Hook it onto the clasp. Close your clasp and then pull it through. Take your clasp off, and then you're going to pull that part out of it. What the hell is this? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I know I ain't mess up. Okay? So it's like this. It's not tight. It can move everything. 
then you're gonna take your clasp again and you're going to go this way now you're gonna take your clasp and you're gonna go this way now you're gonna take your crochet here and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna make sure it's nice and tight around your fingers like so and then you're going to hook it onto the clasp make sure all the hair is in there close your clasp and then pull it out and once it's pulled out enough you're going to pull one side of the crochet hair out this is a little rough this is a little rough you don't want it to be that rough okay because my hair got the braid got up in there <laughs> so just be careful you don't do that because i did just tuck on my hair and I don't have a lot of hair to be tugging it like that. Let me not talk like that. I have a lot of hair. I am in abundance of hair follicles. And now, and now we're gonna go in. You have your two pieces now. This is what's gonna help it look knotless, like you know, knotless like that. You have your two pieces, and you wanna hide this braid. You don't want this braid to show, so I just like to tuck it in. I just like to tuck it in like that. Then I'm gonna go in with my twist and I'm going to twist it the opposite direction. So I'm not gonna twist forward, I'm gonna twist going backwards. So before we finish this twist, I wanna show you how much hair I'm using. So this hair is separated, right? If you want to, you can just use this. It's separated, which makes it a lot easier for us to separate the hair. So what I do is I, I use three of these little bundles for one twist. So one, two, and then the third one I split in half, and then I'm going to add it to this piece and I'm gonna do the same to the other half add it to the other piece <sighs> alrighty so I have a lot done I'm gonna come and show you guys again how I did these Marley twist these crochet Marley twist so let me show you a couple of more times pull those edges out ladies pull those edges out so this is enough space for three. God, I look so bald-headed, but I promise y'all I'm not this bald-headed in person. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this. And this is good, let's see. Make sure this is pretty even size. Let's take a little bit more. So we finished the front, okay? Now let's finish the back. Mm -hmm.